crepey upper arms. Bingo wings, bat wings, call them what you will, we don't want them. Hi ladies, welcome back. On today's video, I'm going to teach you my 10 minute routine for summer ready upper arms. The upper arm area is one of the areas that we all, no matter who you are, suffer with. When we get over 50, our arms look crepey, they look loose and they lose tone. We also suffer with bumps and lumps and dry skin on our upper arms. So I'm also going to show you exactly what I use to get rid of those lumpy, bumpy, gnarly bits that we would rather not have. So if this is exactly what you're looking for, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Every single Wednesday, I'm going to bring videos that help you not only look good, but feel fabulous. So first up, let's talk about the condition of our skin. It's all very well hitting the gym or doing home workouts, but if our skin looks dry, dehydrated, it looks like it's pigmented and it has lumps, it looks older and it's not very attractive. So this is what I do without fail every time I have a shower. I use this product here. It's by CeraVe. It's called their SA Smoothing Cleanser. I use it as a body wash, especially paying attention to my upper arms. It contains salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid. Don't let the name acid fool you though. What they're doing is they're just exfoliating mildly and the hyaluronic acid is increasing hydration. Salicylic acid is superb as an exfoliant. So this is really going to help with getting rid of all of those lumps that we get. They're like little lumpy bumpy, you know, when you feel your arm and it just doesn't feel smooth. That is superb. It, I use it every single time I get in the shower, coupled with a good body brush. Now, sorry ladies, beauty is pain. You're gonna have to suffer for your art, but this really helps with circulation, tone, really helps to build collagen. Use it by just giving your upper arms under and over a really good rub. You can use it all over your body, frankly, but we're talking about the upper arms. And last but not least, and if you've been here a while, you'll know exactly what's coming up. It is castor oil. Applying castor oil every single night to your arms will help them appear beautifully smooth, will hydrate them, help with the lymphatic issues that you might have, and help with the appearance of crepey skin. This stuff is magical. I've talked about it so many times. Have a look at the videos, which I'll link above here. But castor oil every single evening applied to your upper arms will really help with the appearance. So let's get on to the workout. Now this is 10 minutes, anybody can do it. We can all find 10 minutes in our day. And I promise you this, if you do this for 30 days, by the end of the 30 days, you will be so much more body confident about your upper arms, allowing you to wear little tees and tanks just like this. All you're going to need is a little weight. Now, if you don't actually own some dumbbells, you don't need to go and purchase them because I guarantee you've got some of these in your cupboard. A tin of tomatoes or tomatoes, depending on where you're from, absolutely works a treat. It weighs just about a pound. So if you haven't got any dumbbells, reach for a couple of tins and you're good to go. I'm going to be using a two kilo dumbbell. Now these are four pounds. Obviously work within your limits, but give yourself a bit of a push. Your arms will ache and they will feel like you've got a bit of burn going on, but that means it's working. Now in my routine, there are just five simple exercises and you're going to do them 10 times each. That's it just 10 times, 10 repetitions, and we can count from 10 down to one, because somehow it feels so much easier than counting from one up to 10. So if you're ready, it's bye bye bat wings and hello summer tone fabulousness. The first exercise is a simple bicep curl. So taking your weight, make sure that you engage your tummy muscles, tighten your tummy muscles, and if you're stood up, just put a slight bend in your knee. And we are going to simply raise our dumbbells up to our biceps and back down again. Nice and slow, nice and controlled for 10 repetitions.
Okay, so the next exercise are simple straight arm pulls. Now it's important with this next one that you actually focus on your core. Now, although we're raising our arms straight up from our thigh all the way up, you do want to make sure that you are engaging your core muscles so that you don't injure your back. Next, we're going to do an overhead press. So getting your dumbbells, just reach for the sky. Make sure that we start with the dumbbell or the tins at shoulder height. Make sure we're nice and straight. Don't slouch and don't overextend. Make sure you've also got a slight bend in your knees. Now what you can do is put your legs into a lunge position as I have done here, and that will give you a bit of stability and it will also help with you engaging your tummy muscles. Now if you're seated, really make sure you get to the edge of your seat, engaging your tummy muscles, bring your weights just to shoulder height and then reach up and down. Next up are triceps. Now this is a little trickier if you are seated, but it can be done if you just get your bum to the edge of the seat and you don't have any arms in the way of your movement. If you're stood, then you want to bring your feet together, have a good deep bend in your knees, come down almost into a semi-squat, have your back straight, and with your dumbbell at your shoulder, you're then going to row back and straight out with your arms. You're going to feel a burn in this one, and that's good, that's okay, don't back off. We're only doing 10 reps, you can do it. And our final exercise, which will create a bit of a burn, is our tricep pull. Now, what we're going to do, got to be a little bit careful with this one, I don't want you to hurt yourself, is to make sure you're either in a lunge position, bent knees, or sat with your core engaged. Now, you're going to get your dumbbell, and as I'm demonstrating here, you're going to literally take it over the back of your head, and you're going to bring it up straight up. Keep your arms nice and straight. Now, if you've got shoulder issues, you might find this a struggle. So just make sure you listen to your body.
that's it. Give yourself a good squeeze. You have just taken your first step to fabulous summer arms. If you do this consistently for 30 days, you are going to notice a difference. But I'm going to give you 10 minute, really simple, really easy exercises in the coming weeks and months that will help you tighten tone and feel fabulous. I do hope you enjoyed this video. It is a new one for me. I thought I would share what I'm doing to help with my upper arms. I get asked so many times what can be done for loose, crepey underarms. And the fact of the matter is, the only thing that can be done is taking action with exercise and my little skincare products that I mentioned. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, perhaps give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing. I share content just like this to help women over 50 look good and feel fabulous. Until the next video, bye for now.